all right everybody how you doing have a video for you today today's video i will be working on the zippo uh double torch insert as you can see it doesn't want to stay lit i just tried to bleed it and fill it three times it will not stay lit uh, so now i know it's time to do some adjustments to the governor uh, a lot of the times if you keep filling it with butane and it's not working you have it maxed out like i do uh, this is at its highest setting right here all the way turned and it still won't light and you've done everything this is what you got to do next uh you know some people might complain hey i spend a lot of money on these things and they don't even work i know hey don't bring your don't bring your problems to me bring them to zippo not to me i only fix them so if you want to fix watch this video you want to complain complain to zippo i'm the one trying to help you all right so you take out these two screws well so i guess i should show you so there's screw there screw here take them out magnetic screwdriver there we go and the next one and the plates in there all right so the plate only goes on one way and so now you know that if you want it to be so that the plus is all the way to the left take it off so this is at the top uh, you're going to have a little bit of an O-ring in here. You can see it here. And you can see right there is the actual governor that's stopping it from going up anymore. So I'll take this out. And now this piece uh, can be difficult to get out. A lot of the times you can just turn it upside down and slap it. I've had that method work for me too. Uh, but sometimes the old, the old lift and pry is... Uh, Proven to the test of time. I think I might have to use the tweezers on this one. And as you all know, I can't do anything unless it's close to my face. Well, I can't get in there with the tweezers. This is going to be the annoying part of the video where I try to pry this up. And you could see it moving there. It was prying up. Hold on, guys. I just gotta hold this close to my face. Oh, oh almost had her there. And since I won't be editing this video, this will this will all remain <laughs> in the video for everybody. <laughs> okay, maybe I got it too close to the too close to the plastic oh yeah that was that was definitely the problem uh so what the problem was i had it cranked all the way full blast so that metal piece right here i don't know if you can see it that metal piece here was stuck on this piece of plastic right there uh where it's cranked out so just dial it back a little bit and then it should uh, come right out i did just lift it it's almost off you can see so just continue and there you go now to set it what i do is i put it back that's too far what i like to do is i like to put it back i'll show you where oh. right about not a full way back about two-thirds back that's what i'm that's what I'm trying to accomplish right here. And of course, didn't get there. I'm just at a little bit of halfway. I just gotta get this off, spin it a little more. And hold on, I'll do it close to my face because I know I'll get it right. Yeah, and I did, okay. I like to set it about right there, about two thirds back. All right, so you just push that back in Make sure it gets down there. And now you can crank it up fully. Put your O-ring back. Just in case. Of course I have no fingernails. I can't pick up this 
<laughs> flat piece of metal. Oh, I'll need two hands. I don't need to flip it over. I can't believe that. There we go, finally. Oh. All right, so now we will line that back up properly. Get it in there. Get your screws. Now when I screw these in, I only like to screw them in a little bit. I don't like to tighten them until I get the other one in there. Fill it. And then once I know they're both in there, I'll give them. Because uh, it's screwing into plastic, you don't want to strip it, so don't tighten these up too much either. If you ever need to get in here again, you don't want the plastic to be stripped. Okay. Those are tight enough. Now, let's see. Uh, I probably shouldn't have it full, full blast. So I uh, will turn it down a little bit. And this should work first. So it's just a little high. <laughs> turn it down a little bit more. But you can see it lights up right away. I think this will be the perfect. A little high still. That's perfect. And look, it lights up first time, every single time. Uh, and I was using this in my uh, custom Venom Zippo. Uh, but I really want to use it in my Niagara Falls custom I made myself with some glued on, glued on loonies and toonies. And uh, that's how you do it, guys. That's how you fix uh, the double torch butane insert. Uh, as you can see, you see from the beginning of the video, it would not light at all. I kept lighting it, lighting it. I didn't fill it after I fix it. It's lighting up first time, every time. These are good inserts. You just got to make the adjustment. I know it's a pain. Like I said, you pay the money for it. It should just be working. Zippo doesn't fix it in you. But at least you can get in there and fix it yourself. You see it's relatively easy. All it really need is one small screwdriver and maybe another little flat small one just to pry open the governor pry out the governor uh very simple procedure easy to get done you guys can do it at home without uh worry about breaking it and you know what even if you do break it send it back to zippo they'll probably replace it anyways uh i had already sent in a yellow flame insert to zippo that had broken and uh, they replaced it no problem so uh wasn't really an issue so give it a try see if it works if not you got nothing to lose you can return it so uh i hope you guys found this video useful i will see you in the next one if you have any questions just ask below i always respond uh take care everyone